Oh, yeah, she's done. Yo, she's not even recognizable no more. Look at that. Oh! Run! Fight or flight kicked in. I ripped open he the zipper of my tent and bold. jumped down. I screamed as loud as I could and shined the light at the creature. I raised my knife into the air, ready to strike. Go. Okay, Oliver. Hello, Oliver. Yo! <laughs> That's a wide eight-year-old. Built like a balloon. Got a roach? Wow. Auntie! Bro looks scared. It can't oh, be that bad. Uncle Charles, what's that? I'm sorry. Hmm? What the oh, freak? Y'all really? heard that faint Uncle Charles? He got him hung up? Yes. Now that I've showed y'all the real drip, how about we watch some scary videos, all right? I know it's been a minute, I know. But it's okay, we're gonna watch some scary videos. Y'all gonna have a good Halloween, and, and we gonna see where this goes, all right? So let's get it. People Tachi's, uh, Tachi's band. Shout out the Leaf Village. If you're from the sand, I don't fuck with you. If you from if you from the Rain Village, I don't fuck with you. If you from the Hidden Cloud, I don't fuck with you. If you from the Hidden Rain Village, <laughs> all right, let's get into the first video. <clears throat> Hope y'all can hear, okay? <clears throat> Make sure y'all stay hydrated while y'all out trick-or-treating. <clears throat> I think this was a good start for the first video, not gonna lie. No way. Hey, honey, I have some bad news about your grandma. She is sick and needs you to take this basket of candies to her. Okay, mom. Uh, why are we giving grandma candy? I don't think she needs any candy, all right? Oh, no. Grandma is sick? And how am I going to take her a basket of candies at this hour? <clears throat> Excuse me. Dang, she looks sad, boy. I don't know, but she needs you to take her. She's very sick. First of all, why are you sending a kid to go bring her some candy? Okay, Mom, I'll take it to her. Where's the basket? The basket is on the table. You can take it. Bro, you don't give your sick grandmama candy, okay? I don't care if it's Halloween. Don't, don't. Don't do that. Time out. I was in the middle of recording the video and uh, I'm gonna put this at the beginning of the video as a disclaimer. Uh, there's probably gonna be no cuts in this because I'm being serious. Um, taking the filter off real quick. Uh, I want y'all to be safe on Halloween. Uh, kids, make sure you stay with your, your group, whether that's your, your family members or your friends. You know, y'all stay together. Don't let nobody isolate you know, veer off on their own or even with someone by themselves. And then ladies specifically, um, y'all out, make sure that y'all like, y'all keep tabs on each other. You, you know, don't, don't let one of your girlfriends go with this dude she just met at a party or at a, at a function alone. You know, even if she feels like she's no, she knows him a little bit, you know, it's comfortable with him to be alone. Nah, keep y'all, keep y'all's group together. There's too many weird people out there for y'all to just be having fun 
100% of the night. You know, 90% is okay. 10% cautious. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can, y'all can still let loose majority, if not most. But just keep that 10% of caution for like those, you know, those uneasy feelings. Don't, don't, don't be. I don't even know how to say it, bro. Don't just don't set yourself up to be like uncomfortable. You know, uncomfortable feelings lead to like you know mostly like accurate feelings like you don't just feel uncomfortable for nothing you know what i mean so try to stay away from being alone stay with your group stay with your friends make sure y'all communicate if y'all do go off by yourself or in a smaller group let y'all people know where y'all going even share y'all's location for the night just to be a little more safe you know what i mean and fellas make sure you like if y'all with if you if you with a group y'all don't let kids just go by themselves you don't let girls just go by themselves y'all want to Make sure the group stay together, okay? Same, 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 same type of feeling. Ninety percent fun, ten percent, you know, unease. Keep your guard up a little bit. Make sure y'all, y'all all stay together, okay? <sighs> I just wanted to get that off my chest. I don't, I don't know why, but I just don't want nothing like, I don't want no weird stuff happening. All right, so let's let's have a fun night, but still keep that caution, just a little, a little bit, okay? All right. Now that I got that off my chest, let's get to the videos. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Be careful, daughter, and under no circumstances, talk to strangers. Under no circumstances, don't talk to strangers. Okay, mom. <sighs> okay, so she sent her daughter out in the middle of the night. That's that's fine. Oh my god, it's very dark out here. Lucky I have a flashlight. <laughs> okay. I need to hurry, but for <sighs> Am I gonna have to read this whole thing? Nope. I ain't gonna lie, these some creepy woods. Yeah, these some creepy woods. <laughs> What's this? Dead animals? That's a dead bear? I would turn around right then and there. Oh, who, who, who? That's two dead bears? That's three dead animals and a, a two bears and a bunny. He did it. You need to run. Get out of here as fast as you can. Go now. Ow, 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 ow. What's with the reading it and then having me listen to that? Don't talk to strangers. Okay. No. <laughs> Turn around. Don't just look. That's the wrong question to ask, but okay. My mother told me not to talk to strangers. That's the right answer. That's the right answer. But you can trust me. I'm just going to my grandma's house. She's sick and needs me. Why are you telling him this? 
All right. Let's have a, 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 a heart to heart, all right? You're out on Halloween. You're with your friends. Y'all getting all the Reese's pieces and M&M's, Kit Kats, maybe some some faux. I saw a TikTok where somebody was giving out faux. If a stranger walks up to y'all while y'all out on Halloween, how about we don't talk to no strangers, all right? This is what I want y'all to do. Anytime a stranger come up to y'all, I want y'all to be posted up like this. Y'all got a three-man squad, right? You in the center, you got your boy on the left and your girl on the right. Y'all stepping, all right? As soon as somebody called, you, just like that, all right? And then you give yourself a piece of candy to reward yourself. <laughs> that hurt my hand. <laughs> See, that's what's gonna happen if y'all don't do what I told y'all to do. He gonna disappear and go get your grandmama. He said, I'll take care of grandmama, trust me. That look like a trustworthy face to y'all. Okay. Boy about to zoom to granny house, ain't he? And how he know where my grandmama house even at? All right, it's about to be messed up. I can already tell, ain't it? Dang, he bigger than grandma my house. That was a good knock. Very assertive. Granny, don't answer the door. Don't answer it. Don't worry about who knocking. Just don't answer it. It's not nobody you was expecting. <sighs> She's not bringing you candy. That's not grand. That's not your granddaughter. Where the peephole at? That's the right answer. She said, "Who's there?" Mm-hmm. It's your granddaughter, Grandma. Now, y'all think a wolf? Gonna sound like somebody that you gonna know. It don't matter if it's a boy or a girl. Y'all think y'all gonna recognize your daughter voice, your granddaughter voice, your brother voice, if it's a wolf speaking? Whatever happens to her, she deserve it if she believe this. I'm, I'm sorry. It's your granddaughter, grandma. <laughs> yeah, all right. She opened the door? Oh, you're dumb. I was thinking he was gonna bust up in there. Uh. <laughs> ah, yeah, brother. Oh! Dang. Oh yeah, grandma got messed up. I don't get why he went through all that effort to kill my grandmama. But well, he could have just had me right then and there, but all right. And that's what I'd be thinking if I was her. All right, she want to hurry to her grandmama house. She said that wolf was, square, was scary. Where did he go? You know where he went. In your, in your heart of hearts, you know. And it's a long walk. Why her, why her mama make her walk this far? He came back? Yo, W mom. Mom of the year, clap it up for your mom. Clap it up for your mom. This all fall on her. I think she just seeing things. Ain't no way he came back. I'm so sorry I'm making y'all watch this. I don't even know what this is, bro. Alright. She thinks she arrived at her grandma's house so she can hide from the wolf. <laughs> but why is the door open? That's a great question to ask. Again, that's a great question, okay? Alright. That's a creepy picture on the wall. Why is grandma's house so dark? I'm trying my hardest not to pause this.
Grandma, I don't know. How about you scream that before you enter the house? If you're going to go in, at least make sure she in there. You know, get a Wow. All right, what, what you supposed to do with that? You send your dumb daughter to come to your grandma's house in the middle. Oh. I feel like he just toying with her. At this point, he just, he just doing this on purpose. Okay, all right, guys. Let's play a game. If you was in her shoes, what's your thought process on who's gonna be behind that door? You think it's gonna be your grandma? If I gave you two choices, and I told you to pick which one you think it is, your number one choice is gonna be the grandma? That's what you gonna really say? You gonna say your grandma's the number one pick? That's your greatest chances. You think your grandma behind that door? You're stupid. <sighs> She's so dumb, bro. I don't even care what happened to her. I, I don't even care. Whatever happens, happens at this point. And she's still holding on to the candy. Oh my God, bro. Yeah, grandma's barbecue chicken. Oh. Granny? No, he mauled him. See, this creepy mixture between me having to read it. Man, he's a sick wolf. Oh, yeah, she's done. Yo, she's not even recognizable no more. Look at that. Come so slow that you can't react to it. No, that's 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 freaked up. That's jacked up, bro. No, he got the whole family. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Kids, don't talk to strangers like your mama said. All right. Y'all want to be grown. Yeah, the wolf going to get you, all right? <laughs> all right, let's watch this next one. Next one we're going to watch is uh, called Bad Boy Oliver. I'm not going to lie. I love these type of animation. I got the hiccups. Excuse me. Once upon a time, the town of Meadowshare, mm -hmm. little Oliver was on his way to see his aunt and uncle. Okay, Oliver. Say hello, Oliver. Yo! He had just turned eight years old. And that's a, so now that's that a chunky eight-year-old boy. He was allowed to take the bus alone. Just a short hop, skip, and a jump to go. He was allowed to take the bus home alone, right? Oliver? Okay. Ah, it appears he does. Oliver hadn't seen his aunt and uncle since he was four, so he was very excited to go and play at their house. Mm. Although, he was a little nervous. That's not how you spell nervous. I'm gonna let y'all know that right now. Although, he was a little nervous. That's some bad captions. didn't recognize him anymore. That's a wide eight-year-old. Built like a balloon. Got a roach? Auntie! Stop that, Oliver. You're not seven anymore. Bro. With the nails. Why, hello there, my dear boy. <laughs> Made it here safely, I see. Goodness, how you've grown. Your aunt and I are just delighted to have you here. Why do you stare so blank? Uncle Charles. Hello, Auntie Pat. Well, come on inside, my lad. Your Auntie Pat has just made a bag. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, something don't cookies. feel right about how they look. They look blank.
It's a very ominous door closing scene. Here's your room, Oliver. It can't I'm be that sorry. bad, bro. It's not much. We still haven't gotten around to redecorating yet. Bro looks scared. It can't oh, be that bad. Uncle Charles, what's that? I'm sorry. Hmm? What the oh, freak? Who? Why, that's Mr. Bobo. Your father and I used to adore him when we were children. Why, we could have sworn he had a mind of his own at times. Mr. Bobo? Look at that thing. You see the size yeah, of that thing? I'll let you get settled. Go on in and make yourself comfortable. If he closed the door, I'm screaming for my life. Close. I'm out. You telling me this man closed the door on me? Mr. Bobo? And his name Bobo. Mr. Bobo. Who names that? Well, that big thing, Mr. Bobo. Make yourself comfortable. That, that's a regular sized human being. Look at this. No hesitation. As soon as he crossed the door frame, slammed the door on that man. Um, hi there, Mr. Bobo. Can you say hello to it, bro? What's up with people? What's up with people? <laughs> Turn his head. <laughs> Nah. Even at eight years old, that would not have flown with me, bro. He went to bed with that thing in the room. Yo. <laughs> ah. Eyes wide open when he heard that. that. Look up. Sit up. Thank you. Where Mr. Bobo go? Boy gone, ain't he? Yep. He gone? Nope. Running out the door. As soon as I like, as soon as my head turned, did he go? see, whoop, gone, faded. I'm out there. I'm just Teleportation, boy. He's not real. Sorry. He made me say the N word. <laughs> Bro saw that he wasn't there. He saw that he wasn't there. Where did he go? And he just lay down. He just lay I'm down. Just imagining things. He's not real. Bro, you had the right thought process and then you just you missed the turn, bro. You missed the turn. You... This what he get. He connect the dots. He's not real. This is just a dream. Just to just to make the wrong turn. He's not real. Yeah, all right. He snap. He was slumped. Bro slept the whole night. Mr. Bubba on the desk still? Huh? Nah. I can't remember if he moved or not. Oh, I guess Did his arms move? Did his arms move? I can't remember how he originally was. He playing with his favorite toy while his aunt and uncle worked in the basement. Hey man. But he was finding it hard to have much fun. He said, whoa, 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 whoa. Ain't no way he said his his auntie and uncle was in the basement. And he just he not curious what they doing. Huh? Bro's tripping. Alright, so we gonna remember his arms wide open right now. We're gonna remember that for next time. Just a dream. Ain't no way. I can't remember if, if both Mr. arms was open. Playing with his favorite toy while his aunt and uncle worked in the basement. All day? But he was finding it hard to have much fun. Nah, don't play with Mr. Bobo. Why, why I see that as an option? That should not be an option. I'm not scared of you, Mr. Bobo. You're just a silly doll. And you're not real. He's going. Uh, he's. He attacked Mr. Bobo. Uh, nah. Man, yeah, you're cooked, bro. Look at that wide uh, eight-year-old boy. Mr. Bobo, please don't be mad. Nah, it's too late for that. Huh? What's that?
Oh, he a camera? Oh, he not even. I thought he was a person. I ain't gonna lie. Oh. He got a camera in his eye. Watch that door pop open. Ooh. I see you've hurt Mr. Bobo, Oliver. That's a bad boy. Nah. Uncle Charles, why is there a camera in Mr. Bobo? If you'd have just played quietly and been a good boy, I wouldn't have to do this. Oh, I did not see that. I thought he was a dude in the... He closed the door? Oh. Uncle Charles? Y'all heard that faint Uncle Charles? He got him hung up? No. No. Yo. Ain't no way. That's the end? That's crazy. No way, bro. That's crazy. Bro, what? Nah, that's crazy. I've been camping dozens of times in my life. I was a Boy Scout for several years. Yeah, you look like but a Boy Scout. My friends and I all quit to go camping on our own without the weird Scout Masters and annoying little kids. Is that friends or family? Fall was always our favorite time of the year for the weather. We had a pretty good system together and we're quite experienced. Okay. Unfortunately, as we got older, life got in the way of things. <laughs> and we had fewer Excuse and fewer me. opportunities to go camping. It hurt my chest, bro. We stopped altogether. One day, I decided to go camping by myself. I already had everything I needed and all the know-how. I packed up my car on a weekend in November and drove to one of my go-to spots. I didn't bother making a reservation for a campsite because they were rarely ever patrolled. I set up my tent and got a fire going under a light drizzle of rain. So I also put up a slanted tarp over the pit. After I made myself a quick sandwich, the rain went away completely. So I explored the area around the site. In the past, it was common for at least one site to be occupied by another camper, but they were always far enough away that it didn't matter. However, I was completely alone. I found it to be cool, but also disturbing. I had never gone camping alone got a before, bright book and to not even have any neighbors was even weirder. But I went about my business. I sat around the fire, listening to the sounds of the forest and enjoying the view of the colorful leaves eating a bunch of food and sharpening sticks and spears. I ended up getting bored and tried to make my way into the woods as far as I could without getting lost. I was Trimming. hoping to find something cool like a steam or a waterfall or a big rock, but I didn't have any luck. By the evening, I decided that camping alone sucked. I started wishing that I had my managed to get like one that. of my old friends to come with me. Looked like he out of shape. As darkness fell, all I could do was stare into the fire with nobody to talk to. It was more than just boring. It was eerie. Gradually, the sounds of the forest shifted from birds and bugs to just a lot more bugs, droning and clicking endlessly. The only sounds to break it up were the crackling of fire and the sound of my own breathing. Then I heard something else, something strange. There was a weird, quiet hissing somewhere. It was like a distant whisper. I, can't I even thought see. at first that there was a burning log hissing, but I turned all the logs around and the sound persisted. I looked around, but it was too dark to see. In my ears, however, I can't see nothing, bro. I'm tripping. The sound wasn't coming from the fire. It was coming from directly behind me at an unknown distance. I immediately grabbed my flashlight and shined it in the direction of the sound. Bro, people be connecting the nothing. dots just to I get the wrong to see conclusion. An animal or even a person, <laughs> but there was nothing. Oh God! As I peered into the woods, the hissing grew louder, but there was no sound of footsteps of any kind approaching me. Suddenly, a piercing scream rang out above me. A chill spread through my entire body. I jumped to my feet and scattered light all around. 
It Close your mouth. Like a woman had just been attacked nearby, but after a moment, I regained my, my composure. My bro mouth built like that. That scream was a sound I'd heard before. It wasn't a person. I can't even it see nothing. It was any human-like screech of a barred owl. It's a warning to other owls of a nearby predator. It's not a mating call. Oh, so he just know that. It means danger. I had no idea what the owl had warned me of, but after it screamed, the hissing stopped. I made sure my biggest knife was by my side and placed my chair on the opposite side of the fire so I could keep an eye Got on that direction. <laughs> I was no longer relaxing in the woods. I was on edge. I would dip after that, I'm gonna be honest with you. Waiting for trouble. But that's just me. I shouted several times and made sure the fire stayed big and bright. I continued to stay alert for nearly two hours until I got tired. <clears throat> by then, I was confident Dang, enough that whatever bro is scared getting me delusional. Would be bad. So I felt like it was okay to sleep. I crawled into my tent and got wrapped up in my sleeping bag, leaving the campfire smoldering. Uh, the moon rose above the trees and was shining directly overhead. I would never do this by casting myself, shadows bro. shadows of branches and leaves in the canvas of my tent. I thought it was quite nice. But just then, a cloud obscured the moon, snuffing them out. I imagined the shadows as I closed my eyes and tried to sleep. A minute later, the hissing sound returned. My eyes shot open, but I remained perfectly still. The sound was growing louder, and this time, it was accompanied by footsteps. They were extremely quiet. I couldn't tell what it was, but it was getting closer. I carefully and silently emerged from my sleeping bag and positioned myself at the entrance to my tent, ready to pop out That's whatever That's a smart dude right there. Soon, it sounded like it was right outside. It stopped, and I could finally hear what the sound was. It was a whisper. It was forming words in some kind of language I couldn't understand. Then, the moon emerged from the cloud, casting the shadow of the creature on my tent. I saw the shoulders and head of a man. Ooh. It didn't appear to have any hair, but there was what looked to be a mangled tree branch going through its head where its mouth would be. Fight or flight kicked in. I ripped open he the zipper of my tent and bold. jumped down. I screamed as loud as I could and shined the light at the creature. I raised my knife into the air, ready to strike. Yet, there was nothing there. I looked around. Bro, tweaking. <laughs> I popped my head back into my tent. No shadow. Nah, he I went sinking back into the tent. Over me. Every hair on my body stood on end. My jaw tightened and I felt the urge to gag. Bro, I was on my green. own, but I wasn't alone. Without thinking for another second, this I is the right action, decision. Quickly gathering up all my belongings, you you build up the courage to the then to fight something, scream at the top of your sick, lungs with a knife, but still great. And nothing's there. Reasons. Run, just go home. I've told people about it before, but to this go day, home. nobody has an explanation. And they all think I went crazy from isolation. Hey, that's cool. Let but them think what they want to, but you alive. I think it's you the alive, my boy. Camps there anymore. Yeah. One thing's for sure. I will never go camping by myself. That's again. a good decision. Hey, clap that up for the last man. Clap, clap that up. That's the right decision. You go camping alone, and you think you hear something, right? So your ears perk up, right? And you build up the courage to get to the corner of your, your tent. And then you see a shadow of a figure. You don't know what it is. But you just see the shadow looming over your tent. So you're like, all right, I got something for you. I'm going to get my knife. And I'm going to get my flashlight. And whatever's out there, whatever it is, it's going to get these hands, all right? So boom, you pop out. Scream at the top of your lungs. And look at this man's face. Look, look at that. That's a man raging. Like, he, he's ready to go. Blood on 10. Nothing there. Cool. You don't got to fight. The next decision you make is you dip. Because two things is either happening right now. You tweaking and you need to go to sleep. Or you feeling uneasy because it's something to feel uneasy about. Either way, take your butt home. That's how that goes. All right. <laughs> all right. So we watched a couple of interesting videos. I think my favorite one probably has to be the bad boy Oliver. Uh, don't even know what was going on with the uncle there, but uh, it's pretty weird. 
I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Uh, make sure y'all have fun trick-or-treating out there tonight. Like I said earlier, you know, make sure y'all stay together. Kids, stay with y'all's guardian, y'all's parents, whoever it is. Uh, girls, make sure y'all stay in groups. You know, y'all can have fun, 90% fun, 10% caution. Same thing for the fellas. If y'all out with y'all's boys, don't let your boys just go out. Things can happen to us too, whether you like it or not, all right? Other than that, go get some candy. Maybe drink some, some water. Have fun. Make sure y'all stay safe though, all right? Enjoy y'all's Halloween. If you enjoyed today's video and you looking forward to more videos, <clears throat> yeah, I know. And you looking forward to joining more videos, make sure to hit the like button, go to the comments and let me know how you feel about the video. And if you really, really mess with me, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're not late to the next video. With that being said, I'm JJ Lutre. Y'all have a blessed day. Stay safe and peace. Mm-hmm.